I just arrived in Frankfurt and it's a cloudy, cold, nasty day. So, welcome to Germany again. I was in Berlin and it was the same. Okay, so what I'm noticing about Frankfurt right away is, um, looks like two different worlds here. It looks like the haves and the have-nots. It's almost like, uh, Maybe like America or you have a lot of street people hanging out here asking for money, a lot of sad looking people and then you have a lot of rich people buying whatever they want. So I guess that's the way the world is nowadays. Angela Merkel, she invited a lot of these immigrants here and I do see them here in the street but uh, they don't seem to have, what kind of life do they have? They're living in the street, a lot of them. They're begging for money. So, I mean, is that the best they can do? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a different feel than Poland for sure. hostel here and I met this guy the couple and they're from uh, Uruguay and this man he was I lived in Chile before and he traveled around Chile he said in a bicycle bicicleta so you tell me about this man Patagonia you, were, you came from Uruguay to Patagonia and bike yeah. oh. how many miles is that uh, 3,000 like, 3, miles. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Michael, okay. Wow. And uh, did, how was it? You must have liked it, right? Yes, yes. Just you? Yeah. Just you or someone else? Like a group? With you. Ah. <laughs> Los dos, la pareja. Okay. Bueno, y, y obviamente habla, hablas español. Quiero saludar a la gente en Málaga o en España. <laughs> ¿Y cómo te gusta Alemania? How do you like uh, Germany? Es, es yeah? a good, uh, good place, a good air, okay. but, uh, but so much rules. Okay, a lot of rules. Uh, so many much rules. rules. Ah, a lot of reglas, muchas reglas. I, I don't yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you have to go somewhere else after that. <laughs> but a lot of people here like ride bicycles. Yeah. Everywhere. yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. It's a good, uh, it's good thing. It's a good thing. This is cool. Behind me, they got this wall here, and it's like, where are you from? So it's like showing people from all over the world. They put a pin there. Chile. There's Chile here. I used to live here. Vinia del Mar, and then we got Michigan. There's a few people from Michigan where I'm from. So, <laughs> Chile, not too many. Vinia del Mar, that's where I used to be. We got a few. Spain, yeah, a lot of people. Most of the people from Europe here, so that's cool. Hostel is like really different than where I just came from Poland. It was like a few people. Now it's like all kind of people here. So a different, really different vibe for sure. Okay, so here's the view from the hostel. I'm on the balcony. There's a balcony here, so. Got a pretty good view of uh, Frankfurt. A lot of people here. Some kind of conference about tourism, so maybe I'm at the right place after all. Wow, this is crazy, man. Frankfurt, it's like some kind of red light district or something here near the... Uh, Train station, I didn't expect this at all. I was expecting like, you know, a nice German town or something, but no, this is not the place. So Frankfurt is like pretty crazy. And I was filming there and the guy was like coming up to me like, you can't film. You look like a big guy, so like a bouncer or something. But so I walked away from there, but this is pretty wild, Frankfurt, I don't know. And I see like a lot of Hong Kong type stuff, Asian places and so this is, this is crazy. Near the hostel, I don't really like the vibe, I'll have to tell you. It's like, I don't know, it's like this street here, it's like a lot of rich people eating and enjoying. I see a $150 uh, sushi uh, Japanese restaurant, 150 euros a plate. And then a block away, you got all these red light district sex shops, prostitutes in the street. It sounds like a lot of Russians, people speaking Russian or Eastern European, so I don't know. It's kind of crazy, Frankfurt. Uh, not really what I expected. I'm thinking about Poland right now. I was like, you know, feel much uh, safer in uh, in Poland. This kind of reminds me like Rambla or something in Barcelona. So, but I walked a little further down here, and then you got all these nice big buildings here. So, 
maybe it'll be a different feel, a different vibe. So it seems like you got a rich neighborhood and it, like right next to it, like a red light district. So maybe it's like Manhattan in New York City. So like I said, the haves and have nots. So you got these big, beautiful buildings behind me like Chicago or New York. And then, like I said, you got these people just living in the street down here. I wonder why people build these big buildings is to get away from the people. Um, I just don't know, you know, so. I don't know, I guess it's not really my thing. If you like big buildings, then maybe Frankfurt is for you. So you got this big beautiful Euro sign behind me. And uh, you know, I know most of the people in Germany are in favor of the Euro, but uh, our European Union, but you know, I, I'm wondering, is this gonna last? Um, you know, you got uh, Britain is leaving now. You got some other countries, Italy, they don't want to accept people as much. Poland, they're not accepting so many people, um, different kind of people. So I don't know, is the future of Europe, is it, is it going to be the same? Is it going to be a European Union or is it going to be something more fragmented? Is it going to be something broken? I guess we'll only have to, we'll have to see, but I uh, wonder what the future will hold for Europe. I thought sushi was expensive in Malaga. It's like 25, 35 euros a plate here. It was another sushi restaurant. They were talking 125 euros, 150 euros a person. Frankfurt, I don't know what, what's going on here, but it's, well, you have this, you know, big buildings in here, kind of like Manhattan. So it's like a Wall Street. So there must be like a big business center here. So a lot of rich people can afford to eat. And then, like I said, a block away, you got all these people struggling and, kind of like you know nightclubs and women selling themselves for money it's a large building behind me is uh it's called it's a building from norman foster and uh, i'm sorry the name again of it was norman, the build yeah okay and uh he was i met this man here he's from here and uh he deals in the financial uh in real estate and uh, also in uh art and he was telling me what i thought that this is a big financial hub of uh of germany and probably of the world so it's it is similar to manhattan and that's what i would compare it to telling me about this um, house here there's a man named Gut and uh, he was some kind of genius some kind of German genius and uh, he compared it to Leonardo da Vinci so he was maybe like a um, an inventor and um, obviously an architect something like that and a philosopher I'm not sure exactly but he was definitely a genius he said so this is probably a historic area and uh, I see around here a lot of shops that are very expensive like uh, Patek Philippe and uh, you know some other uh, Rolex, so you know there's a lot of money here in Frankfurt. And that one is Hellebar. Yes. Okay. And is that a company? Bank. Bank. Hellebar Bank. <laughs> So there was this man here, I met him on a bicycle and I, I was telling you about him a little bit and he came up to me and uh, he saw that I had a YouTube channel and uh, we were talking and he lives here and he was taking me around to some of these places and he told me to come here and I could see some of these old buildings here. And uh, these buildings were actually destroyed in World War II and they rebuilt them all. So a lot of Germany, you know, was decimated. And uh, he told me the story about the red light district. So I was pretty close, to, I was right, so this red light district he said maybe 20, 30 years ago was really popular. On the weekend, it was just really crazy. He said it was just out of control. And the reason was is they had a lot of, they had an um, American base here, a military base, and they had 200,000 American soldiers here. And they used to come here on the weekend to this red light district and they would just go crazy. They would party and they would just, uh, you know, and they would make a lot of money here. That's what he said, and he said after the American soldiers left, isn't that amazing that the, the base closed and uh, a lot of that died down. So now they just have a small district now and it completely changed, he said, but uh, I thought it was really fascinating, the story. So that's the story of Frankfurt, and uh, that's from a local that told me that. So I don't know everything about it, but it, now it's a financial hub, and I was pretty close to accurate on that, and it, 
it has a lot of uh, banks and, and financial buildings. So you, you have really an eclectic mix here. You have old, you have new, you have red light district, you have a little bit of everything. So that's Frankfurt, Germany.